This regional runway is about to become a whole lot busier. With a contract to train international pilots for Indian airline Indigo worth $50 million for Whanganui. It was bought um, on behalf of the Whanganui District Council by Holdings. Holdings managed the commercial businesses on behalf of the council. They purchased the flight school in 2015. We operated from fielding for close to 18 months after that while we were building this complex and we've established what is essentially a $2.5 million purpose-built pilot training complex here on the Whanganui Airport. Last year, the airport received a $400,000 investment from the Provincial Growth Fund to advance the aviation hub. And the payoff? A new deal providing an economic windfall for the city. Yeah, the pilot cadet program will cost each individual overall $200,000 slightly less than that. The initial agreements to train 242 students, so 242 times $200,000 gives you just shy of $50 million. We'll be going to a fleet of close to 40 aeroplanes. Yeah, in New Zealand the numbers are fairly simple. If you have five students you need one aeroplane. That aeroplane will do a thousand hours a year. Each pilot must do 200 for their commercial pilot licence. So five students equals one aeroplane and uh, one flying instructor. The expansion of the flight school will allow the academy to train up to 200 pilots a year, which means big business. They live in the community for the 12 months that they're here, so it's a client really for all Whanganui businesses. But equally at the higher level it's an economic development project, so our goal is wherever we can to support economic development in the Whanganui district. Development that's been made possible by New Zealand's strong global reputation. We have a partner office in India, it's in New Delhi. You know, we know New Zealand's one of the least corrupt nations in the world and our brand uh, aligns with that and therefore what happens in other countries on our behalf must align with that. The economic impact of the deal is already being felt beyond the flight school, with a recently disused rest home being given a second lease of life. Wanganui District Holdings bought Nazareth uh, um, because the flight school needs further accommodation and very much they want a campus feel uh, and Nazareth is a purpose built building for accommodation so it was a, a real win-win. One shouldn't underestimate the, the importance of pastoral care around young students. It's not like your image maybe from you know, my alma mater, Otago, where you know it's a big party place. These students are here because they're very focused uh, and they're expending a lot of money for, uh, in our community in order to get their wings. The growth of the academy is an opportunity for the council to further capitalise on the airport facilities. The whole mix of fantastic airport, lots of runways, um, space available, lots of open area around the airport for training areas and low commercial volumes makes it perfect for flight training. We can fly down to Ahakia and use the instrument landing system there so that's pretty close and we can also operate into Palmerston North when we need to. We've got a navigation aid over there that's different to the one here so we use that quite regularly. The two airports nearby offer students the variety they need to prepare for the blue skies. Georgie Ormond, Local Focus.